Hey YouTubers, this is J and B with another coin roll hunting video. But this one's really quite different because there's only 10 rolls left in the entire box. So basically, we will search live through these 10 rolls, not the entire box. And the reason for that is B opened this box. She went through 40 rolls and found some very desirable and amazing coins. Since the finds are really amazing, we decided to share them with all of you. But she decided to save the last 10 rolls to open live on camera. So we will open these here now live and then show you what she found at the end after we see what we can find. Because if we find anything like what she found, it's going to be... Uh, <laughs> Unreal. So, this is just a regular nickel box that we bought, circulated coin, got it at our bank. And, and you notice this one was darker than the rest. And I'm going to set these down and get the magnifier out because I do that a lot with, uh, with nickels and small and dimes and pennies. So this one was dark colored, and I thought it might be a war nickel, but it's not. It's a, it's a 1972 that's very dark. So nothing special there. So let's go through some more nickels, see what we find. 95, 64, not a Denver. 64 Philadelphia, that's not real common. 1976 nickel yeah pretty sure yep 1976 nickel Philadelphia 97 2000 2000 2000 2005 2000, 2013 Denver, 1982, and 1999. Take a look at the bottom of this 2013 and see if it's got full steps or not. By golly, I think it does. Two thousand thirteen Denver. It's got a couple light bag marks on the face and a couple light bag marks on the reverse, but it looks like it's got full steps. So that would be cool. Still, not anything like what she was finding. So we're going to keep going. 2007, 2007, 78, 77, 1999, and 2016. Nope, no full steps on that one. So we got more here. We're still in the first roll. 64D. That one we'll have to check for errors, possible errors. 76, not that great, and it's dirty. 2015D. No, no full steps. There's a 2004, but it's got gunk on it. 1957, Denver. That's a fairly old one. 2006, Denver. 91, 74. 2016, not in good shape. 2018, not in good shape. 1970, the front's in nice shape, but the back's not. 2014, doesn't look like anything special there. So we'll grab another roll. Let's 
For those of you that haven't been to live streams and haven't seen me use this, this is a Lego separator that was sent to us by one of our family members. And this thing, as you just saw, opens up rolls like amazing, you know? You don't cut yourself. Um, the roll opens right up 99% of the time. And we've opened a ton of rolls with this thing and it's got no wear on it at all. And most importantly, no sharp edges. This one for that one may or may not have full steps. I'm not really sure. Sometimes the 5x is just fine. Sometimes I need a little more amplification than that because my eyesight is not as good as it was when I was young. This one also might be full steps. They're newer nickels, so you know it's quite possible. Finding an older nickel with full steps would be killer. But right now, we're just trying to see if we can find something as interesting as what she found the other day. And so far, I can tell you we haven't. <laughs> Because we're finding we're finding a couple of coins that could have possibilities here, but we're not finding anything on the level of what she found. So there's another one I need to check for full steps. Whoops, get off there. Now you can see I'm just going through these pretty quickly without using our Aaron variety list. Um, I could do that. I could get the list out and lay these out by dates, check them against the list, look for stuff that we know can be there, um, or we can just put them under, all under the microscope. But uh, what we're looking for right now is we're trying to find something as cool as what she found. So here's one that's a little different color than the rest of the roll. And it's just an 83 that's tarnished. A lot of times when you find one that's dark in the roll, it's kind of the opposite of when you're doing half dollar rolls. Or, you know, if you find one in here that's dark, and it's darker than the rest of the coins, a lot of times that's a silver war nickel. Not always, but sometimes you spot them that way. Another one that I've got to check. And some of these newer ones have DDO, uh, DDRs as well. So again, we can, we can check those before we do the wrap, but right now we're just trying to see if we can find something uh, on par with what she found. Because she's always blowing my doors off when we're doing coin roll hunts. Some of you will remember we did a half dollar hunt a while ago and we got like 180 silvers out of a box of halves. I had like 80 of them, if that. <laughs> and she had like 100 of them, including a barber from the 1890s that was just gorgeous. Really, really nice condition. So she's always finding good stuff. And uh, I guess that's how she, how she found me. <laughs> Hey, you can you know we can make jokes about it. What the heck?
last roll so far. Nothing that nothing I even need to look at to check. She must have cleaned out all the good stuff. But we'll see. Hmm. That looks like an offset strike. Have to check that one. More 64 is pretty beat up. Okay, so we went through them. We didn't find anything on par with what she did. I'm going to go off camera now. I'm going to check all these, see if there's anything in here as far as full steps or something like that. Uh, we've got a couple older coins. This one here does look like an offset strike uh, to me, to the south. Uh, looks like a 2000, but I need to look at that under magnification. So I'm going to check these. We'll come back. We'll show you the in the wrap. We'll show you if we found anything, but we'll then show you the stuff that B found. All right, here we are at the wrap. We went through, I went through all of our coins that we had found in the 10 rolls. And basically what's left is, is these six that you see here. We've got a 1941, a 1946, a 1957, and 1959. They're just basically decent coins. They're, you know, if someone's starting a nickel collection, these might be placeholders to put in and get started because they're, they're not as bad as a lot of them often are. They're a little nicer than usual. This one here is a 2000 and it is severely offset to the south you can see the thick rim to the north and the t and y in liberty are gone and the two in the date are gone so it's offset to the south and possibly a partial brockage the reverse has taken a couple of strikes but it's hard to say whether those were during the minting process when this occurred or whether it happened while in circulation. So that, that's kind of a cool find. Um, and then this one is a 2018 Philadelphia in nice shape. It turns out it does not have full steps. It's got one nick running on one of the steps and otherwise it would be. But on the right hand side of Monticello, there's a big die chip right in the middle and another one right at the end of the roof. And they're pretty good size. So that's all we had there. So now we're getting to the stuff that B found. And you can see there's about twice as much as what we found. And the quality and the finds are completely beyond what we found. And we have a surprise for you too. She found two Canadian nickels, a 2006 and a 64, that are in really nice shape. Then she found a Polish 50 Grochi. So here's the 50 Grochi that she found. We'll try and get it in the light so you can see it. There it is. And it's got the Polish crest. And of course, theirs is a metal presentation. It doesn't, doesn't flip like ours. So there's the Polish eagle on there, which is cool. Then whatever the heck this is, that was in, in the roll. Um, <laughs> no telling what that is. A 64 Denver, which we found quite a few, but this is the nicest one of the of the batch. So this again could be like those coins where it's uh, a coin that basically would be for your collection. Then it gets real interesting. She's got a 1959, and I want to be really careful how I handle this one. It's a 1959 Denver, and it has full steps. If this grades out as MS67, and it's cl it's close. If this is a 67, this is a $7,500 coin. So needless to say, we're going to keep our fingers crossed on that one. 2015 P with full steps. 
Another modern with full steps here, it's a 2017 Denver. We have a 1956, also in really nice shape, also with full steps. And the 56 is a rainbow. Don't, hopefully you can get the color there. So the reverse on the 56 is a rainbow. Then she found a 1936 Buffalo nickel in really nice shape. S. S mint mark. So got real excited finding a got real excited finding a 36 S in that kind of condition. So this again could be a fairly valuable coin. Then if that wasn't good enough, she goes and finds a V nickel. Nineteen oh six. Whoop. She found a modern 2005 Buffalo bison. or 2005 Buffalo or Bison. No speared Buffalo error or anything like that, but this is a beautiful coin. Then next to it, she's got a 1990 that also, if I can pick it up, is in beautiful condition for, an, for a 30 year old coin. Very high grade. Very high grade. Then she's got a 1940 in really nice shape for a 1940. Then she has a 43S war nickel. And you can tell by that large S right up there. And this next one is something else. 1944 and it's a Denver war nickel and look how nice and white that silver 35% war nickel is that thing is beautiful beautiful condition as well so out of these we have one two three four that could be graded coins this one obviously being the best along with this one out of all of these but she also found our first two cent in a coin roll hunt. And it's really going to be hard to show it and get the light on it because it, it's such a dark coin. But there you can, there you can see the, the two clearly on the back and the shield on the front. And we know that it's an 1800s coin because it starts with 18. And they made these from 1864 to 1873. We can't make out the last two digits, even with our microscope. But how is that for a haul? I mean, this is what she was finding. Just amazing. So we've got some beautiful coins here. We're certainly going to get this one graded, that one graded. Um, this one will go to our collection, the two cent. And... Um, and the silver nickel and the V nickel, and we're, we're going to check the uh, Buffalo Indian, uh, you know, Buffalo nickel 36S and check that one as well. So all in all, this one here is just amazing. I mean, it's 59, 59 Denver, and it's just unbelievable the condition that this nickel is in. So we're going to find out. We're going to, we, we've got coins we need to send out. We're going to send that one out and see if it comes back. And if it does, and it's big money, we'll give you an update. But look at how much came out of one box of nickels. I mean, you can eliminate these if you'd like. But just what she found here is unbelievable. Okay? So the whole thing here is... Don't give up if you go through a box of nickels and you don't find anything more special than this, okay? Because you're going to find a box that's going to be this good or better. They're out there. There's lots of nickel boxes that people are overlooking. and Or they're looking for, you know, the small um, errors and varieties. They're not necessarily checking the condition coins, which they really, really should. And that's what we wanted to get across is to encourage you to check nickel boxes. 
There's so many cool things to be found in nickel boxes. And once again, be proved that to us. So hopefully you guys find this is really cool and are excited about a couple of these finds possibly being worth some money. And as we said, we will give you an update once we get them back from the grading company, uh, if they're anything special. But other than that, we will see you guys at one of our live streams. Check out jbcoinsinc.com and let us know what you think. Make a comment below this video. Thank you and have a good day. JNB signing out.